Howdy, this is Plague and welcome back. Well, it's been a while since last update and part of that is because of the storage room that I'm working on here. Uh, as you remember last time, that was what I left or said I was going to be doing. And this is what I've got so far. It's really pretty sparse. As you can see, I started doing some uh, chests along the walls. The spacing of these is basically uh, because at the time I started this, one of the snapshots had just come out that introduced trap chest, which means then using trap chest and normal chest, you could stack them all next to each other um, without having to leave gaps like you do now. And uh, I started uh, designing this room with that in mind so that uh, I could just have this solidly filled with chest, and which I probably will still do. But, uh, you know, as the uh, as it goes when you start looking at snapshots, you know, the snapshots sometimes uh, take a while to come out and, uh, or, you know, before, not come out, but before they get uh, published into a real version and since I'm also running Bucket, <clears throat> that also means that there's going to be probably a little extra lag before these come out and uh, as far as I know, the latest Bucket doesn't offer Trap Chest or any of the new goodies um, that some of the snapshots have, so uh, I was kind of waiting on that, and also I had a pretty cool idea uh, that I wanted to do for some mass storage and retrieval, um, but that relied upon using the hoppers and other things in the comparators, things that you can't get in the current version um, of Bucket that we have here that's 146, I think it is. Um, so, you know, that, that kind of was off... Uh, trying to develop that storage system and, and waiting for things to come out. And <clears throat> basically, it's just been so long, I figured I need to get something out, uh, you know, get some more work going on this world and uh, not worry too much. Um, no, not necessarily not worry, but not let that hold me up too much. Um, it still is going to hold me up a little bit overall uh, because of all the new cool things that they have in the nether with, like, the, the nether quartz and and different things like that and you know possibly new other biome changes which I, I don't remember if there are any or aren't at this point however the point is <clears throat> that I don't want to go exploring too much um, in the nether or even in the overworld uh, because I don't want to uh, miss out any uh, features you know I don't want to generate a whole bunch of land around me and then when they finally do upgrade, have to go out and then travel even further away to be able to start seeing some of these new stuff. Um, so I've been kind of wanting to keep close here, uh, which also means uh, my lighting is kind of suffering out along the roads and things because I definitely need some more glowstone. But again, I don't want to go into the nether and have to travel around a lot and start generating, you know, nether that uh, I'm just going to, that's not going to have new stuff. So anyway, so this is kind of where we are right now. Uh, with this storage room, I um, I kind of put blocks in front of the rows of the stuff that I'm going to have. Uh, for each of the wood types, I have uh, three different chests. The first one is going to have basically this, saplings, uh, the logs, the leaves, planks, uh, then items built with that kind of wood, stairs, half slabs. And what do I have down here? Oh, cobble. This doesn't belong here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do down here. Possibly more wooden items, fences and stuff like that. And that's going to be the same uh, pattern for all the woods. And then this row here is going to be some type of for plants. Here you got flowers. I got some of these ferns and vines. Um, I do plan on putting item frames on these. However, after doing a little exploration around just the area that uh, I've already looked at, there's like no cows around. So <laughs> I'm kind of stuck there now because there aren't any cows within the generated world that, you know, that are close by. So I can't even find any to breed. So I have to basically plop down blocks here just to show what I'm going to put in the different things. Um, and then back here, Oh, one of the major things that uh, you end up uh, storing up is cobblestone. And even though this is going to be a whole lot of uh, 
chest, even when I put the trap chest in whatnot. You know, when you're digging and you're collecting uh, resources, you know, you end up with a lot of cobblestone and sometimes a lot of dirt and other things. And so you really need an, a separate area just for that. And that's kind of the idea why I was, with the new features, was trying to design something uh, using hoppers and whatnot to do mass storage. But <clears throat> for now, what we're going to do until then is I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to dig this out and then underneath, uh, go down another level or so and just fill this whole bottom area under here with chest. And all that will be is cobblestone and possibly dirt, I guess, too. Uh, maybe gravel. I gravel don't really have much use for, but you know, it's one of those things that uh, you can't regenerate. So if you come across it, might as well just save it up. Anyway, so that's what I'm working here. I'm going to be putting, as you can see from what I have in my hand, I'm going to be putting in uh, some stairs to come down here and make this nice. Uh, since I ran out of glowstone, I had to put pumpkins up here for some lighting, but that'll be okay for now. And then I'll have to do that down below too. Uh, the other thing I was going to show about this area is this doorway system. Oops, it's nighttime. I do not want my villagers getting killed from zombies. I hope they haven't already. Uh, so back to this. Um, you know, a lot of places, different, you know, Let's Plays and whatnot, you see really fancy hidden doors, redstone and whatnot. And, you know, that's all cool and what and whatnot. And, and I thought about doing that here, but you know, I've kind of used this in a different world and it's simple. And, uh, I think it looks kind of neat and it's, it's a different, uh, different way of doing this. Um, I have vines here, which blocking the view here because the, the mobs don't see through this or if they, if I'm right, they don't see through it. They'll, they'll, they can walk through it if they're chasing you or something or if they get pushed, but they won't naturally walk through this. Um, and then, so I just had two layers here. I guess that one hasn't grown back yet. Um, then what I do is I put fence gates up here with the uh, pressure plates underneath so that when you walk across it, they open up and you can come right straight through. Um, and one another thing I found out about these, even without the vines blocking the, the viewpoint, is that even if a mob is chasing you, they will not come up and uh, touch this blocks here because you've got the fence gates and then you've got the pressure plates. They won't naturally walk onto it. So even if they're chasing you, you can come in here without with impunity. And as long as they're not like right behind you and, and grab into the open gate, they won't come in. The only way that they will come in is if there's a bunch of them and they start pushing each other then one would come in but you know i mean for, that's kind of a minor thing to to not to worry about uh you know if you had a gate like this that's out in the open and there were a lot of mobs around possibly that would be an issue um this definitely does not work for animal pens i tried that at one and had a mess in a different a different world because i'd done this on the animal pen and <clears throat> I bred them too much and the cows and the, the sheep and whatnot had just gone wild and were pushing each other and they just started flowing all over the, the area I had. Anyway, so that's enough of that. I don't sound like there's some spiders down below or upstairs. Anyway, what time is it? Still daylight. So I'm going to take a quick off-screen break here, uh, dig this out more, and I'll give you an update. Uh, hopefully by the end of this episode we'll at least get the um, the bottom cleared out and then get a few um, more chests in at least so I can store away the cobblestone that I currently have stacked up because um, I really want to start getting uh, this area as the major storage area and you know uh, emptying out all those other chests that I have elsewhere so I can really start moving again and getting housing and whatnot built here as I said in one of the previous episodes, is I really want to start getting um, getting some more stuff going here, you know, different areas too. So I feel kind of hindered by, like I'm hindering myself um, from all of this, waiting for different things and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and do. Oh, no. 
bad. Huh. Well, that's interesting. You know, that was a mistake, but that looks kind of cool, maybe. Let's see what happens over here. No, you can't walk up it. All right, well, it was a nice, it looked nice. Okay, so we're gonna go off and I'm going to dig this down a little bit more and then I will see you guys back in a bit. All right, well, this is what I've got so far. I uh, cleared out the rooms, come over here. This is the stairs I've got coming down. I decided for now to keep this wall in between to kind of hide that and make a separation so you don't see exactly what's in here. And then this will be lined up with um, chest. Possibly I'll just start doing rows. As I was doing this, I ran across this uh, cave here, which I had temporarily had just blocked over so that I could finish doing this room. But uh, as you can possibly hear, there's spiders and zombies going crazy somewhere nearby. So I think we ought to take a little opportunity here to explore this just real quickly. It's been a while since I subjected you guys to some exploration. <laughs> this is it. Okay then, well, so much for that. So that must mean, well, I'll tell you what, while I'm here, let's grab this coal. Never have too much coal. Though at times it sure seems like it. So I'll be grabbing this real quick here and then maybe we'll go outside and up top to find out where the heck those spiders are because they're driving me nuts. Running across the ceiling. Oh, maybe they are down here. Looks like we've branched into another area. Let's get that lit up. Let's get this coal first. Check. Oh, got the mini map going. Let's turn that off. But keep an eye on our clock here so we don't uh, stay away too long. Let's see. Where does this go? No? Ooh, is there a ravine down here? <laughs> that scared me for a second. Okay, let's... Whoop, you know what? Uh, Jump the gun here. Seems kind of lonely there, down there, dude. Light him up. Yeah. He's kind of stuck. Let's make sure we don't get ourselves stuck here. Let's make a nice walkway as we go. And that is a deep shaft down, isn't it? Okay. Tons of arrows from our skeleton farm. So don't need to worry about that. Let's see. One down, one down. Wow, that is really deep. Look at that. Well, there's that spider. It must be the spiders I've been listening to. Okay. Now you're a skelly. Wow, that is huge. That has to be a ravine. Ooh, two skeletons. I wonder if there's another spawner or if it's just because it's dark. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's still noon. Let's cut the torch. Keep care of him from a distance. Nothing on this bow. Oh, it's just a regular bow. All right. clacking let's uh let's go this way take ourselves uh, a little path down a bit let's see what we've got here it's opening up pretty nicely 
Oops. Uh, it's another drop. Let's see. Which way should we go here? Let's continue hugging this wall. Well, then again, <laughs> maybe not. All right, let's do this. There we go. Let's go up there. Let's open that up a bit so we can throw some light down here. Go this way. Nice call. Let's make a step. All right. Back up a bit. Even though I can recover my stuff, I really hate dying. So I'm really trying to be careful here. Nice room. Let's get up here where we kind of back ourselves into our corner so we don't get shot from anything. I don't think nothing can come up from there. Let's light this room up a bit. I think it might be a self contained room. Let's run around. Get some torches here. Oh, water coming in. The hell's that? Shoot. Go away, dude. Yeah, I know. I just attacked a creeper with a torch. Kind of silly. Scared the crap out of me. Hearing him fall. Let's see if we can quickly get up here and block that off, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, just for now. I think it's just one light, so a spider could come through there, but that isn't as traumatic as having a creeper jump up, jump up on you. Yeah. Wow. What else we got in here? Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I thought that was fixed, even in this release, where you couldn't wash, go up against water. Come on, okay, come on, let me. Let's back around the other way. Man, this is a, this isn't a ravine, but it's definitely huge, isn't it? Let's see. Let's cycle it around. Probably don't need that water there. I should probably cut that off, but for now it would keep any bad guys from getting to me, so I'm going to leave it just for now. Let's go this way. Wow, he's all decked out, isn't he? Oops, can he come up here? I think he can. Fight him in a nice area. You know, I think only once have I fought. Oh, look at there. He dropped the helmet. I was going to say, only once have I fought a armored mob and had them leave me their drops. So, that was kind of nice. So, I got a, got a leather cap. It's not too, well, too badly worn. All right, let's get back up here. Let me get back across there. Let's do it. So what do we have here? Oh, that's where I stepped down. Obviously, they can come from there because that's where that guy was from. 
Alright, let's explore a few. Light on this just so I can see if anybody can come up. I don't think they can come from that direction. So let's just swing around over here. Go this way. Quick stair. All right, that you're gonna freak me out, aren't you? I'm like getting up on perches in the corners along the walls there so that something comes. At least I'm not, uh, well, probably going to panic, but at least I don't, oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm out of torches. Okay, let's move it on the No, that didn't take too long or do too bad. Dude, you're gonna get yourself killed. Freaking me out flying around like that. Okay, let's see how can this guy go. Alright, that's blocked off that way. So we'll come around this way. Oh. So this is a dead end now. Oh no. Could go back there. What do we want to do here? Let's open this one up. We can take a peek in. in this way. What time is it? Oh, it's nighttime. Crap. I didn't want to be doing this through the night because I didn't want my poor villagers to take a risk of getting eaten by something at nighttime. All right, well, let's see. Let's start heading back out. We can sleep through part of this night, maybe. Oops, where are we? Um, so this is where we saw the deep shaft. The area they can't come into is here. Let's get this place lit up much as I can. No. Keep an eye out, nothing's going to jump on me. And it's kind of freaky now if they can do that. Oh, God, that's really unnerving. Oh, going to work with it. Oh, it's not bad. This is a huge cave system. Let's see, this is going to make mobs, no, necessarily come from that way because the water is going to push them off. So let's just go here, lava is, get some extra free light. Alright, so we're safe that way. I mean, I really did wanted to get the storage system done today, and this is really taking, a, taking us on a bit of a detour. But I guess a little variety isn't gonna isn't necessarily bad. Have the water. Look around. Close on that one over there. There we go. Yeah, he shouldn't be a problem. The water should keep him away. Let's make our way over here. Okay, nothing can jump on this one up there. Let's throw a torch. Oh, something can probably get me from here though. Okay, so let's just block that off and off. So I feel a little safe. 
everybody around. Damn, that's all really deep. Alright, I'm not gonna s explore this whole thing right now. Well, that one spot left there looks weird. Maybe it's just smooth stone within a pile of dirt. The zombie was here and must have gotten pushed down. Alright, let's take a quick look to see where we are. 24, wow, so that's goes way down. Alright, well, we'll come back and do this. I, like I said, I really want to get the storage area mostly done for this episode. So let's grab a little bit of coal on Reddit. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's make our way back up. Is that where we can go? Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. Come on, make sure I'm not missing any. Are they sneaking up on me? My pick's about gone. Okay. I left myself a very tiny walkway, didn't I? Yep, you're right. Do not pass up iron. Definitely can't get enough of that. Alright, let's see. Alright, now I'm lost. Oh, goodness. No. This is our storage room. Okay, we'll come back for this, but for now, let's block this off. There. Okay, so we've got this. I need to go upstairs here, make a bunch of um, chest. Thank you. Mm, you know, that takes a lot of. Well, I got tons of wood, don't I? I think I did a bunch of tree harvesting. All right, so let me make a bunch of chests, uh, fill that area down there with chest and whatnot. Let's get a little smooth stone going here. Put them all there. How about there? Okay, I'll do that, and then we'll see you back with that. And then uh, this episode might have been running a little longer than I expected so I might call it quits then but for now let's uh, let me go down and uh, make those storage chests I'll be right back all right well there we go I mean this will be good enough for now um, obviously I want this room to have more uh, either more chest or uh, to be filled up with the uh, the other storage system I'm trying to develop using the future blocks that and things that aren't in the game yet but this will definitely be enough. That's uh, like about 21 different chests, something like that. Um, that's got to be enough for all the cobble I have. And that still gives me room then upstairs still for any variety of stuff that I need to keep up here. And I can keep separated and, and come up with a better storage system. But I think that uh, is pretty good for now. Um, what time is it? Noon? Let's go out real quick. Make sure our villagers didn't get eaten. Uh, when I worked, was doing a lot of caving throughout the night. And also, good chance creepers spawned around. So let's zoom around here. See if any are hanging out. There's one, two, three villagers, four. Lots of still falling through the floors. Well, there's how the heck did you get out there? How did he do that? You can't hop up again. Oh, you can. There. 
No, I didn't mean to hurt him, but that was a small fall. This should have hurt him. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, must not have lost any because there's tons of doors here and in the village. And if I'd lost any, I would expect babies to have been born to replace them. And since I don't see any, oops, wait a minute. Right, that, what's that light doing on? Can I hard fix those on for now? Hmm. Could be my red time signs have gotten wacky. You Notice know, sometimes when I log in and out, sometimes that gets messed up. But I guess that's one thing I wanted to worry about pretty soon because in the new features, uh, we've got uh, the light sensors, which are pretty neat. Though, really, in the case we want to, it's kind of like the reverse of a light sensor, but I think you can probably reverse the way that those work. Uh, what do we have in here? Let's grab a bunch of this cobble. We can drop downstairs real quick. Oh, we're out of room already. All right. And then we'll call this episode an end. Um, between now and next time, um, I'll transfer all the storage in the other chest that are all over the all over the different buildings and whatnot down here and uh, that way we can start getting some more of these buildings going uh, start putting in some more houses and along the the roads and get a few more roads going so we can really get this area built up to a, you know a larger town um, so so I feel like I had done something here and then maybe we can well, once the new episode, uh, new features come out and whatnot, bucket gets updated. Um, we'll probably move somewhere else after a bit. I don't know how many episodes that's going to be away because I really want to get off and do something a little different. But at the same time, I want to finish up this area and uh, you know make it look like you know I. I got to a finishing point as opposed to just walking away from it, even though, like I said, I'm really getting antsy of, of falling through some other ideas. But uh, at the same time, with the new features coming out, I don't want to go travel around and, and mess things up. So anyway, um, that's going to be it for now. I thank you for watching, and until next time, have fun.